Here's one of my new frogs. It's an imitator, a green imitator. All right, here's some of the um, some more of the frog room. I have a yeah. Here again is that belly shot of the green imitator. It's in this home. This uh, terrarium's empty. It's just growing up right now. I have springtails here. Here's my new tadpole setup. This is um, a short little terrarium. It's 18 by 24 by 12. But it's got these bacchus in here. There's one, and over here are two more. There's one here, one here. I don't know where the other one is. They're eating, eating some springtails I put in here last night. I don't know what this one's doing. And down here is a little. A little Luke I have in here. The little skinny one that I'm trying to grow out, try to get him a little fatter. It's in this container. I don't see her. Under the leaves here is a tank of Java moss. There's shrimp in here. There's some shrimp here. Uh, freshwater shrimp. Uh, it's handy for you need the uh, java moss for uh, your tadpoles. Uh, these are all fruit flies. I have uh, a couple different kinds. Uh, I have some isopods, uh, the, more containers of springtails. Uh, here's a little container for getting the food out, dusting them with the calcium plus. Here is this is just plants in here. We have some Tillandsias, Bromeliads, Ferns, uh, a couple of the Panthas. Let's see, there's three here, two little ones here. And anybody know what this plant is? It's another carnivorous plant. All right, it starts with a C. Let's see if you can figure it out. And here's a, another Miss King I have. I'll probably do a video of setting it up in this room. I'm putting all these terrariums in hooked up to the Miss King. And that's about all I have in here. And I'll take you to the other room. I have four other terrariums over there. Here's some more of my terrariums. I use Exoterra. I like the, uh, the fact that they have two doors because you can open one door and do something like this and then keep the other, for, helps keep the frog from escaping. I was just feeding them some leftover fruit flies here. Here's these guys. These are the ones that made all the tadpoles. I have uh, a little petri dish inside their coconut nut hut here. But every two weeks they'll leave uh, some eggs. Usually about four to five eggs. These tanks are all hooked up to the Miss King in here. So here's my Miss King water down here. Here is a Luke tank. These guys actually are pretty good climbers. There's a bunch of wandering Jew in here. There's water feature in the back. Trickles across the bag. There's a little orchid. Uh, and it recirculates. Got a little hut here. And these guys call. And actually, with the Wandering Jew, I've got to thin this out every so often. There's some Tillandsias in here. Uh, some Bromeliads. But um, this thing just really grows like crazy. Uh, a couple of the little vines in here. 
Well, let me trim this up a little bit. Okay, now you can see the water feature. Just recirculates. It recirculates across the back with a little mini pump. Dumps into a little pool over here. Uh, you can see Bromeliad now. There's two over here. There's one in the back. All my tanks have LED lights. From um, Light Your Reptiles. And down here is my other tank with the uh, with the Legos supporting the light. Uh, these. There's five of these guys in here. Each one of these, I have a video where I'll show that um, they all have little territories. I have two Miss Kings uh, nozzles in here. Uh, there's one frog in this bromeliad. There's one in this one. I have uh, tropical moss down here. Uh, growing pretty well. There's about 10 bromeliads in here. It's rooting. Uh, the frogs love this. There's a curled leaf over here also that they stay in. So the, these guys aren't that bold. I don't see them as much as I would like. They have LED lights. Got more frogs here. And this, this one here is pretty uh, grown and pretty heavy. I got some ferns in here. Well, these frogs are doing really good. Uh, Miss King in here. I've got to trim this tank also. Got a real thick area here. And then down here is my little feeding area. So. This definitely reminds me of a forest floor. Of course, I use um, a lot of leaves in here. Uh, I have aquarium air pumps here. They each circulate air in. So they all get fresh air, or at least some air circulation. All the tanks have that, and the uh, Miss King nozzles. So that's kind of my quick setup right now. I know you guys have been asking to see that. And I'll uh, have some more videos as time goes on. Thanks for watching.